Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to some more Endless Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be underwater, but don't worry, you won't have to hold your breath for long, because we are going to be using an amazing mod created by Fant, and this mod has a device that allows for air pockets underwater. So I'm going to leave a link down below to Fant's YouTube channel where you can get more information on this mod and all of the other amazing things that it has to offer. Now what I've gone ahead and done is I've created a modular underwater base system that has all of these devices preset for all of those modular pieces. And what you can do with that is create really cool underwater bases in a matter of minutes. So we're going to start with how this air generator works. You place it onto your build. Now it has a specific orientation. The direction in which this fan is pointing is the direction in which the air pocket will be created. Now we have a little bit of a HUD menu here that shows you its current size and the current mode, which is the axis that you are changing. So you can see as I press U, it scrolls through all of the different modes and you can also see the current size that it is set to. So in the case for my modular underwater base, I ended up just using those fans and basically putting them at the exact center of where my platform was going to be. You know, I built all of my walls and then I went down here and just started using each mode. So if I press F on that mode, you can see now it's getting taller because it's going through the Y axis. And then I can press U again to change it to the Z, which there you go. You can see now it is going in the other direction. And then if I press it one more time, we get the X axis and then you'll see it is now getting wider and wider. So all I had to do was create the box, which was the room. And then I adjusted the size of this area here so that when I'm inside of it, I don't have to be underwater anymore. Now, I'm pretty sure the true design of this air pocket generator and most of the Fant mod is for survival mode. So in survival mode, you would in fact need a battery container with batteries inside of it which would then be hooked up to the air generator and then you can activate it. But in creative mode, you do not need any of that. You can just have it right on the build. So what I've done for this modular underwater base stuff is I've made it so I can go into my blueprints and search for underwater. And there you go. You can see I have like a nice catalog of various modular pieces for the underwater base. So we're gonna go through all of these. We're gonna piece them together and create a base. It takes no time at all. And the end result is just really cool. So the first module I like to start with is the underwater base. Now this is the biggest room of them all. And it's also the biggest size that one single air generator can create. You can see it's 25 by nine by 25. Now it can go taller than just the nine, but I did want to keep it to the relative size of the rest of the base. All right, we're going to put it right there just like that. And now it is part of the ground and it is put in place. So you'll notice that there are some gray squares surrounding the exterior of this base. Now, the reason for that is because these are different spots for the modular pieces and where they connect. So the next thing I usually add would be a water tunnel here. They are designed to go right up against one of those sections. So we can grab the bottom of the, uh, the entire thing there. We're going to make sure it's rotated in the right direction. And all we have to do is line it up right to the bottom here because that's where the floor is of the other section. And then once we get it right in position just like so you can see this part of the module connects perfectly so you can see in the case of these two modules here there are the air generators underneath them there and they do end up putting that box up above into the rest of it now some of them stick out from the top which is really cool because you can actually just end up walking around on the top of the build as well and then just kind of hopping off and going right back to swimming and of course we can go inside the tunnel here and once we go into the tunnel you'll see we just transition into the walking move now once you have the tunnel in place though you can just go inside here just like so and break open that gray square that we had and now we have a tunnel to a new place so the tunnel doesn't necessarily have to go directly to another room i do have another section for that tunnel and it is the underwater tunnel corner now we can spawn these in now these corners also have their own little air generator at the bottom as well uh, but it's relatively simple all you have to do is grab it from that floor position right there and then weld it to that floor on the uh 
original tunnel and there you go look at that we now have ourselves a 90 degree bend in which we can walk in so now i'm just going to add one more tunnel right here just like so make sure it is all lined up and look at that we have this absolutely awesome tunnel system now and so there are even more things we can connect to this now at the moment I have two different door and hatch systems so this is the exterior hatch right here I'll spawn that one in and there is also another one and where is it there it is it is the underwater tunnel sliding door now this is a different style door than the hatch obviously this one is designed to be inside of the base while the hatch here is designed for like ingress and egress of the base. So what I'm thinking is we can grab this door right here. We'll grab it from that same floor spot, line it up to the floor on that one, weld it into position, and there you go. Look at that. We now have ourselves a sliding door. So I'm going to add another tunnel turn right here. I guess I got to grab it from this side. You always want to make sure you're grabbing it from the right spot and welding it in the right spot because it could be... Uh, pretty big pain in the butt if you have to go through and remove any of these components here. So from here I am going to add one more tunnel and as you can see this is just going super fast. It takes no time at all to piece all of these things together and look at this we now have a sliding door in our tunnel system you know just in case there's a flood or anything so now that we've created a pretty cool tunnel system we've used the different tunnel components that we have at our disposal we'll move it into a new room now so i do have a few other modules here for rooms and i call them like junction so you can see this is a junction rise so this would go on top of a normal junction and i believe I have one around here. There it is. So this underwater junction is basically uh, like uh, where different tunnels would meet and then move you into other directions. So I suppose at this point here, I'll just grab this spot right here and then we will weld it just like so and that should be exactly centered there. So at the moment there are no openings to that junction so this is a good opportunity to grab ourselves this hatch right here and we will weld it directly to the front of this base here. And look at this, now we can just open up this hatch. Oh man, I have been having so much fun with this mod by the way. So there we go, we open up the hatch, we open up that door, and wow, we now have a new section to the base. So of course we know that the tunnel is over on this side right here, so we're going to remove that section as well. And look at that, we now have all sorts of room to move around in this underwater base. Alright, so from here, we can do some different things. Now obviously, like I mentioned, there are some different spots at the top as well, so... You could, if you wanted to, this is all sized to be, uh, like, universal. If you want to, you can grab a hatch like this, and you can stick a hatch right on top as well. So, you know what? Why don't we do that really fast here? We're gonna pop a hatch. So, this is just gonna be, like, a really crazy junction area where there's, you know, all sorts of different ways to enter the base, uh, and that's alright. So, from up here, though, we will just remove these blocks just like so, and check it out. When we drop into the base, we are now walking. Now, you might be realizing that there is a bit of a problem with the hatch up top, and that is I cannot get out. I obviously can't swim anymore while I'm in here, but there is something that I added to fix that. So I've created two different ladders. Now this ladder here is ladder A, and then there is also ladder B, which is a little bit longer. Now if you're just putting a hatch on top of one of those junctions or any of the normal bases, then all you really need is this size ladder right here. So I'll grab that top block right there, and I'm going to put it to the opposite side of that, uh, that hatch there. And then all we need to do is just line it up right here to the bottom just like so and look at that we now have ourselves a ladder that we can use to exit the base. So I'm just going to quickly add another tunnel right here to this side of the base just like so and we are going to add another junction. Now in this junction we're going to use it with the riser. Now if you end up doing something like this where you don't uh, 
you don't end up using these walls for anything, then you can of course just go through and repaint everything back to white, uh, and then it looks like there was nothing there. So now I'm gonna be able to spawn in uh, the riser right here. So this is really cool. So there's the riser, like the Junction Rise Observatory, which is a space that just has a whole bunch of different windows. And then there's also the Junction Rise, which is basically just a riser, but instead of having all of these windows, you have all sorts of different tunnels that you can create. Now along with the observatory there is another thing that has all sorts of windows and that is the junction windows. So what I've done here is I've made it so that there's one spot where you can add a tunnel and then the rest of it is simply just windows. Now for this here though we are going to be using the riser and I want to go straight to the observatory so we're going to spawn that in. So I'm just going to go under here and grab it from the bottom portion of that tunnel there and the beauty of being underwater is we can now simply just swim all the way up to the top here and what we're going to do is just make sure that this is completely around that gray section and check it out we now have a riser with an observatory. Now, I don't feel like having to swim all the way over to that hatch there, so I'm just gonna spawn in yet another hatch, just like so, and I have gotten rid of the paint mark there, but it's still relatively easy to line up without it, and despite that, you can still open up this door and just very easily remove those blocks. Now, there we go, we have access to our new junction room as well as the riser. All we have to do is now remove that section as well. Now, as you can see, we have the same problem. We can't swim underwater inside of this base, so we have to create a new ladder, and that is where that longer ladder B comes into play here. So we can go into our blueprints, get the underwater ladder B just like so, and just like the other ladder, it's as simple as grabbing that right there, and then I guess just kind of making a decision as to where you want to weld it up at the top there, and place it just like so, and now we have ourselves a ladder to go up to the observatory deck. So already you can see that this base is coming together and it is really taking no time at all to piece it and to place it and to get it all working. It's all pre-made and ready out of the box. So right now I'm just gonna add a whole new section right here on this side of the underwater base and then I'm gonna show you all of the different interiors that we can do. All right, so what I've done is I've created a new tunnel here as well as a new New full size base again this is the largest size of a single air generator so in here we are going to turn this into our actual generator room so this is one of the interior pieces right here this is the underwater generator all you have to do is grab it just like so and you know what actually you can just grab it straight from the top right here you don't even have to put it on the lift you'll grab it straight from the top and then all you need to do is run into the base and line it up, I believe, just to the uh, the square right there, just like as if it was for a tunnel. And there we go. We now have ourselves a generator here. And so this has a switch. You can turn it on and check it out. Look at that. So now we just have like a high-speed spinning generator coil inside here, and we can kind of Imagine that that is powering this base. So now over on this base, what we're going to do is we are going to spawn in a set of underwater furniture. So we have a bed, we have ourselves a custom desk with a chair, of course. We also have like a little storage locker system and we also have some oxygen bottles set on a rack. So obviously this is slowly floating away. Now all you have to do, of course, is just simply remove these caution blocks right here from the portion that you want. There we go, we'll just grab that rack. So I don't think I'm gonna put uh, these air bottles inside here. I wanna kinda turn this into more of an office. So what I might do is head over to the junction over on this side here. Uh, and okay, well maybe, okay, there's no empty walls here. I guess we're going even farther. Okay, here we go, we now have space so I guess somewhere around here I think they yeah it should center directly right there and there we go we can put that on the wall and now we have an oxygen bottle set here so now we're gonna set up the office a little bit we're gonna grab this storage locker just like so and just so you know I'd be lying if I said this wasn't somewhat inspired by Subnautica that game is absolutely amazing it's so much fun 
Uh, and so it's been a huge inspiration for me in terms of designing things as well as, you know, just the structural functionality of everything. So I'll put a chair right there like so, and now we just need to grab a desk as well for the chair. There we go, pop the desk down, and then I guess we only have one more thing, and that is a bed there. Now, obviously, we do not want to put a bed there, so maybe we can add that to a new room. So I find this is the perfect opportunity to use this junction with windows here. Now, I have to warn everybody that if you're using this mod, this stuff will slowly get pretty laggy in your world. It seems to be pretty taxing on the game when you're using this mod, but I think... It's just absolutely worth it no matter what. All right, so now that we have that room in place, though, we can grab ourselves a bed right here, and I guess we'll just swim on over and put it in. All right, right there looks about right, and there we go. We now have ourselves a bed. So there are some other things that you can use to decorate the, uh, the different areas and stuff like that with just the simple vanilla pieces. You know, we have all of the different plants that we can put down here as well. And, uh, you know, this kind of stuff just really adds a lot of dynamic. Now, in case you were wondering, these air pocket devices have another really cool thing. And that is that you can have them move around. And even if they're moving around or on a loose object, as you can see now, this is slowly floating up. I am moving with it. The entire air pocket is moving with it, which means that you can use this for interiors of different ships or submarines or whatever you want that isn't necessarily bolted to the ground. So as you can see though, we built an absolutely amazing underwater base in a matter of no time at all. And look at how amazing it is, how functional it is. We can walk around inside of it. We can breathe no problem. Well, obviously in creative mode, there is no breathing, but uh, if you were in survival mode, you would have the ability to breathe under here. Now, before I end the video, I want to take a moment to point to a brand new feature that YouTube has, and that is the special thanks on videos. So what that means is you can highlight a comment down below for a different donation amount. And what that means is that you will be helping support me and this channel and all of the endless scrap mechanic. Now, obviously, donations are not required, but they certainly will help me and help create the best content possible. So I appreciate anybody watching, of course, and anyone who thinks about donating, but it is just an option if you do want to help out the endless scrap mechanic. No matter what, obviously, you can always just hit that like button, and if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and maybe even turn on some notifications so you get the latest and the craziest coming from me in scrap mechanics. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I will be seeing you in the next one. So bye for now.